Well, it's time now for Education Matters, and today we're talking about high-stakes tests. Dr. Craig Douglas is here. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. You know, what are these important tests coming up, and what can students do to prepare for them? Yeah, they are very, very important. Basically two weeks away, give mm -hmm. or take. So first, for secondary students, uh, high school in particular, they have the SAT. That's okay. scheduled April 9th throughout the state of Michigan. The good news is it's uh, paid for by the state of Michigan. It's provided at, at no cost with a lot of support. So there's been a lot of preparation building up to this April mm -hmm. 9th testing date. But with the foul weather, miss school, et cetera, et cetera, it's gonna be a special challenge this year. Uh, for other students, there's the PSAT that's given. And then and for uh, elementary into middle school, there's the M-STEP set of mm -hmm. tests. And basically that's reading and math in, in most of the grades and then science and social studies in grades five and grade eight, I believe. Okay. So it's kind of a little bit more hit and miss in science and social studies. So preparing for these tests, it's huge. And it's kind of a, a tension in terms of making sure that students know it's important and be geared up for it and be prepared. You know, the old uh, commercials we used to see about giving a, uh, the student the, the best breakfast and the best start of the day, those are very important on those right. test dates. But then not being so high pressured that the, the kids maybe have some test anxiety mm -hmm. that blocks their achievement. So the key is to have that right balance. Uh, I maintain simple uh, concepts like know when th the tests are going to be given. With the loss of school, some of the M-STEP testing dates may be shoved a little bit back in that window right. to try and accommodate and, and offset some of that lost time. And given, we, you know, with the weather forecast, there could be even more days off, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, knowing when the test is going to be given in the school calendar, knowing where it's going to be given. Is it going to be in a cafeteria or study hall or a large group area or is it going to be given in the classroom? I think the SAT basically is usually given in a larger setting. So knowing those things ahead of time, kind of like uh, in athletics, we do mm -hmm. a scouting report, get that scouting report, prepare, and then study for the test. Right. Don't be afraid to study for the test. Mm -hmm. There are great resources online. I've talked before about the Khan Academy. The Khan Academy is a great resource for test prep for the SAT. Mm -hmm. So bottom line, take the test seriously. They're important. They're important for the individual student and for the school. But don't get to the point where you have that test anxiety. Right. It's a, kind of a fine tune. All right. Thanks a lot, Dr. Douglas. Great advice. For more information about today's topic, just check out the TV5 Hot Links page.